Hi children, welcome to Educa. Today we are with a new video from Grade 6 Science. This is Unit 6, Sound and Hearing. Sounds of animals, human voices, noise of horns can be heard in our day-to-day -day life. To observe sound, we can do a simple activity at the very beginning of the lesson. Go out to, to the class and pay your attention to the sounds that you hear. Then identify the sounds. These are the sounds you heard. Come to the class and compare the sounds you heard with those of your friend. You may have heard many sounds in the environment for a better understanding. We can do this activity. We need whistle words, pair of scissors and glue. What we have to do? Make two equipment using the Bristol words as given in this figure. Keep them on your ear and listen to what you hear. Compare the intensity of sounds that you heard during the, this activity. The sounds that you heard in previous activity and compare the difference with that. You must have understand that the intensity of sounds heard are in the environment are clearer than in the earlier activity. Our first subtopic is producing sound. To identify how sound is produced, we have to do this activity. We need a bicycle bell here. Ring the bicycle bell. Whistle it is ringing. Keep the finger on it. Report what you felt. While you are playing the bicycle bell, you may feel a vibration on the bell rings. Let's do this activity to feel how the sound is produced. We need small drum, small pieces of paper. What we have to do? Keep the small pieces of paper on the drum and play it. Observe what's happened to the pieces of paper when the drum is written. You may observe that the pieces of paper are moving here and there. That is because the height of the drum is vibrated when it is beaten. This movement is called a vibration. Therefore, it is clear that sound is produced by vibrating something. The objects that produce sound are called sources of sound. Animals, various types of objects, musical instruments are examples for sources of sound. To produce different types of sound, there are activities. The first activity is tap the desk with a pencil or pen. Clap your hands. Put some marbles or some green gram into the yogurt cup and shake it. Crush the piece of paper with hand. Burst a balloon. As method in this activity, we can produce sound even by using simple methods. Our next subtopic is hearing of sound. To find out how do we hear sound, we can do this activity. Tell your friend to close his or her ears and beat the drum. Then ask whether could hear the sound clearly or not. Ask your friend to open and close the ears while listing the sound of the drum. Ask him or her whether notice any difference in hearing when the eyes are opened and closed. Now you can understand that when the ears are closed, you can't hear the sound of the drum. We can hear the sound of the drum only even the sound enters to our ears. Ear is the organ which sends sound. Ear lobes helps to direct the sound into the ears. You can see how sound enters to the, our ear 
and the how earlobe is collecting the sound. Our next subtopic is diversity of sound. Some sounds that we hear in the environment are produced naturally. Let's see some examples. Sound of wind, sound of waterfall, sound of birds, barking of dog. There are artificial sounds that are made by man using equipment. Let's see some examples. Sound of car, sound of school bell, sound of aeroplane, sound made by guitar. Our next subtopic is music and notes. Sounds that are sung or played rhythmically are known as music. Examples are sound created by violin, sound created by flute. Sounds that are not rhythmic are known as noise. Examples are noise of traffic, noise of machines in factories, noise of fair. When the sound of music is increased, it too can be disturbance. Our next subtopic is creating equipment to produce sound. There are many activities regarding to these creating equipment. First one is this. We need several caps of soft drink bottles and a strong wire. We have to make this instrument by crushing the bottle tabs, caps and make them as a tablet. Make a hole in the middle of the caps and send the wire to the holes. Now shake it. You can hear the sound. Next one, let's make a clapper board. You will need a fairly large thing, a strong wire, a nylon thread and the iron rod. What we have to do, make a hole at the bottom of the tin, send the wire to the hole and hang the iron rod as given in the figure. Tie the nylon thread at the end of the iron rod and shake it. You can hear the sound by using this rubber. Next one, we need a cardboard box, 16 rubber band, 2 pencil, a piece of cardboard. What we have to do, cut a circular part out of the cardboard box, then make a simple guitar as the given figure and play it. You can hear the sound. Next one, we need thin wires, small thin, small nails, a thin wooden plank. Fix six nails each at one end of the wooden plank and inside the tin which is fixed at the other end of the wooden plank. Then tie the wires tightly around the nails as shown in the figure. Practice to play the tin guitar. Right, you all. In here, this practical, you can hear sound also. Given below, you can see some other equipments which produce sound in the same way as we discussed earlier in practicals. Right? The instrument that produce sound, you can see violin, guitar, sitar, like that. In next activity, we need six pen tubes, gum tape, Cardboard strips. What we have to do, cut the pen, pen tubes as shown in the figure in different lengths. Then make a bubble like this. Practice to play it in ascending order and in the descending order. Search how the bubble produces sound. This figure shows you some other instruments which produce sound. In the same way we discuss as in earlier as the instruments we produce flutes like that. Next activity we need a tin with a large opening, a balloon membrane and a rubber band. What we have to do, keep the balloon membrane stretched on the opening of the tin and make a drum. Beat it rhythmically. You can hear the sound. Now you can see some instruments that are played as the same way as the drum which we produce in earlier activities. Next one, we need six equal glasses, spoon and water. 
take six six equal glasses and put different amounts of water as shown in the figure. Strip each glass with a spoon in the ascending order and descending order. Play it rhythmically. You can hear the sound, different sounds. Next one, make a xylophone. We need six metal pipes with 1.5 cm diameter, thick wooden plank, glue, a pair of scissors, cello tape. We can use paper also in here. What we have to do, cut a piece of metal pieces as shown in the figure, then paste the cylinders on the wooden plank which has 5 cm wide and 20 cm length as shown in the figure. Take two sticks and tap the cylinders rhythmically. You can hear different sound in each plate. This is the instrument which is regarding to about practicals. Listening to the loud sound is disturbance. Those sounds are also a disturbance to others. You must use television, radio, loudspeakers and other equipment without disturbing others. Thank you. Let's meet with the new video, the 7th lesson, Magnets.